Hey folks, Rock here. Today I'm gonna talk about how we control analog gear remotely. We've been asked about this a lot and would like to explain it a bit. First, let's talk about what our goals were when we designed this technology. We wanted to keep the same analog circuit, replace a minimum amount of parts possible, not alter the sound in any way, and still have the controls be as accurate, fast, and reliable as possible. Our first thoughts were of course servos, VCAs, optos, but none of those options proved good enough, so we carried on. Soon we realized that there is no one-size-fits-all solution that would handle all the different currents, voltages, and still keep the signal unchanged. The way we make our gear remotely controllable is we develop a custom solution for every device. If we take this 1176 for example, you see we have four knobs and two blocks of push-button switches. Now if we open this thing up, as you can see these pots and switches aren't connected to the audio board anymore. Instead we connected the audio board to the custom add-on board we designed. Switches are replaced by relays, T-pad attenuator of the input knob by an R to R ladder attenuator, the output potentiometer by DigiPod, and the attack and release potentiometers by electronic switches. To talk with the network, this 1176 is connected to our server with a network cable. Now to recap. When you control our gear at Mix Analog, your audio still enters the devices the regular way. The only difference is that the audio boards use digitally controllable solutions on our add-on boards instead of the non-digitally controllable pods and switches. I hope this video cleared things up a bit, I hope it was helpful and that you learned something new. We are also accepting video requests. Stay tuned and see you next time. Bye!